garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be talking about how to repair a damaged transmission cooler line. Um, in my opinion, the best way. Um, I've heard people say you can use hose with, uh, with clamps. Other people have said use AN fittings with braided hose. And I think any time that you're using a hose with a line like a transmission line, I think uh, it'll do the job, but I think you're going to have to repair it uh, in the future because eventually it's going to fail. So what I like to use and how we're going to cover in this video is basically using um, an actual steel, steel line with the flared ends and then using um, compression fittings on both ends to connect it to the, to the parts of the transmission line after you've cut out the bed section. And I think in my, in my opinion, that's the best kind of patching that you can do for repairing it. And I think that that will um, give you a long time before you run into any issues, even if you even run into any. So let's go ahead and get started with that. You can see there, uh, that is the damaged transmission line. Um, it looks like it was, somebody tried to patch it and did a pretty crappy job. So we're gonna go ahead and take off that, uh, that bracket there so we can get it down and we're gonna cut off that whole section and replace it with the new steel, steel hose um, and then go ahead and connect it with the compression fittings and I think we'll be good to go with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and then we'll be back. All right, so to show you what I did, I went ahead and I cut the transmission line right here so I could get access to it. And then I had to undo this, this wire uh, protective wrap that it has here, which was a pain in the neck. So I got that off. Now I'm gonna use just a, just a regular pipe cutting tool. Go ahead and cut it off here where I'm gonna join the, um, the compression fitting here. And then we'll do the same on this line here and we'll be right back. Okay, got that there. And this is now ready to come off. There we go, that clean cut. As you can see there, there's the cut off here. Then the other one is down here. That's been cleanly cut off as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and use the compression fittings, connect here and connect here and run our patch of our, uh, our new uh, steel line to connect everything. So let's go ahead and get that put on there. Everything's been connected. <clears throat> we have the compression fittings here. Here's the new steel line that we added in and then the other compression fitting here. Everything's in. I'm just gonna go ahead and retighten everything, make sure it's nice and snug. And then we'll go ahead and connect everything back to the brackets, get it back in place, give it a try and uh, see if it's uh, leaking or anything. Well, we went ahead and tested the transmission line. Everything's fine, no leaks. Everything's nice, tight, fit and snug. Uh, please send any questions, comments. We thank you for watching, and please remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time.